Mr. Speaker. Today I rise to speak on an issue that has weighed, uh, weighed very heavy on my heart. In fact, it's kept me awake at night for many nights. Two videos have recently come out showing senior planned parenthood officials and executives and doctors callously discussing abortion procedures and the cost of that fetal tissue from aborted babies. It's turned my stomach to hear these people at Planned Parenthood claim. They claim to act in the best interest of women, but instead they talk about compensation for tiny organs from aborted babies. And I find myself asking, how did we get here? How did this great country that was founded on biblical principles get to a place where we have federally funded organizations like Planned Parenthood who claim to care for women and provide health care for them, instead deceive people and use those dollars to end lives, end lives of our future women that could potentially lead this country and then turn around and sell their body parts to put even more dollars in their pocket. It, it reminds me of the Edmund, Edmund Burke quote that says, the only thing that is necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. And today we have seen many good men and many good women come to this House floor and say that we will not do nothing. We've pushed on this issue before, but we're going to push even harder. We're going to talk even more. We're going to talk to people and have uncomfortable conversations about what's going on at Planned Parenthood. We're going to fight until we end the federal dollars that flow into their bank accounts. We're going to fight until we make sure that our babies and our children are protected, whether they're born or unborn, and that every life is sacred, that we honor those biblical principles that this country was founded on. Not only is what Planned Parenthood has been doing disgusting, but it raises questions about potential legal behavior. Profiting from fetal tissue donation is illegal under federal law, and so is altering procedures based on fetal tissue donations. So I've joined many of my colleagues here in the House, and we've asked our leadership team for an immediate investigation into Planned Parenthood and all of their practices. They need to be punished for what they have been doing. All lives matter, including the unborn. We need to do all we can to protect the most vulnerable among us. You know, the world can be a very dangerous place. And it's dangerous because of the evil that's going on, but I believe it's much more dangerous when you have people who look on and do absolutely nothing to protect those among us. The duplicity of this organization needs to stop, and as long as federal dollars flow to this organization, we all need to feel responsible and do all that we can to end it. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back.